This is the fuel pressure tester rig for my 1989 Volkswagen Cabriolet with CIS. Uh, the test rig goes in between uh, your fuel distributor and your warm-up regulator or control pressure regulator. Uh, you can just follow the lines right down. It'll take you right to your fuel pressure uh, or your warm-up regulator. So your test rig, um, this is a very simple rig uh, that, that comes from Amazon, maybe $25, $30. Uh, there are adapters uh, in the kit that have the 12 by 1.5 uh, fuel line thread on one side and then uh, just a male iron pipe thread on the other side. Uh, so I was able to take this fitting um, and put a barb on it, just a brass um, with a male iron pipe uh, into that fitting that went into the fuel line going to the warm-up regulator. Uh, then I've got a shutoff valve and then a T with my um, pressure gauge on it coming around. I have a swivel on here. There's a crush washer in between the swivel and the fuel distributor. Again, it is a barb with a male iron pipe on this side. Uh, my local hardware st store had these uh, right in stock on the shelf, um, about $40 in, in plumbing for that. So once you have this installed, uh, you're going to want to test your system pressure. Uh, so you'll need to energize your fuel pump. You'll go underneath the dash remove the uh, fuel pump relay and put a jumper in between the two large spades uh, on the fuse panel where the relay had been. Uh, you'll hear your fuel pump uh, turn on and your gauge with the valve closed. Uh, your system pressure is going to climb up to about 75 PSI. Uh, once you've uh, confirmed that, open the valve, start your engine, uh, that will give you your cold control pressure. That should give you uh, a reading of 25 PSI, and that'll cl uh, climb slowly to 55 PSI. Uh, and then it, by that point, your, your fan will have cycled uh, once or twice. Um, close your valve, shut off the car. That will give you give you your residual pressure. Uh, and the system should hold pressure for, for about one minute to 10 minutes. I believe the Bentley manual says you should only lose one or two PSI after 10 minutes. Um, if after a minute you still have pressure, you're, you're probably fine. Um, you will also might need to test your um, in-tank uh, fuel pump, which is very simple. Remove the back seat uh, or flip that forward. Uh, remove the cover off of your uh, in-tank fuel pump. Um, take the fuel cap off so you can relieve the pressure in your tank. Uh, and then take the line off of your, um, your, your fuel pump on the driver's side. Uh, when you turn the ignition on, the in-tank pump should turn on and f fuel will flow out of uh, the pump. Um, and that should give you all of the information that you need uh, to know uh, whether or not your uh, CIS has appropriate uh, fuel pressure.